it's, it's just so much that our, that our ancestors uh, did. And what, what we try to do with the Kinsey Collection is to really put us in the story for the first time. Yeah. And I just made a comment, and I'll say this to the listening audience. You can't really understand and see America unless you understand African-American history. Because otherwise, you're going to have cataracts. Yeah. And most people, black and white, have cataracts because they just don't have any idea what happened with the black story in America, which was hidden. And it's hidden in this concept called the myth of absence, which uh, we trademarked uh, last year. Uh, and can, can you explain what that, what well, that is? It, it's by the, the, the great author, Leroy Bennett, who worked actually at Ebony Magazine. Mm -hmm. And he, he created this concept called that black people, African Americans, were invisible presences. And when you hear it, it sounds a little odd, but it's true. Mm -hmm. Invisible presences mean that we actually are here, we're just not part of the story, we're not part of the narrative, we're not part of the picture. We're not part of what goes on in America every day. Mm -hmm. And I don't care what you do in America, you see that. Mm -hmm. Because it's like when we talk about foreign wars, black people aren't consulted about them, although we're the first ones to die in these wars. Mm -hmm. you know? So, we, what we have tried to do and what we're doing is to, to try to put the, the information on these headstones that are empty right now. Yeah. We say that the black story is like walking into a cemetery and there are no headstones. And, I mean, even someone as famous as Phyllis Wheatley died anonymously. How could you die right. anonymously right. in a Phyllis Wheatley? Right. She was thrown away. At yeah. 32 years old, that's, that's she really writes the first book of poetry in 8, 1773. Yeah, she was thrown away. We don't know where Benjamin Banneker's uh, uh, burial site is. We don't. I mean, yeah. I can go that's on and on and on yeah, that our heroes and sheroes were not honored, right? And they were just allowed to be basically thrown away along with their stories. Mm -hmm.